Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to our today's lesson. Today we are learning the types of mixtures. If you remember in our previous lesson, we defined two important terms which we will be using in this topic. We defined the term classification and we said that classification is a process of grouping substances with similar properties together. And I told you that properties are the characteristics of substances. Like I have two pens here, these two can be grouped together because they are solids. When I get my duster here, that it is also a solid. Therefore, these two can be grouped together because they are solids. The example of liquid-liquid mixture we gave was maybe water, paraffin, diesel, petrol. Those can be grouped together again because they are liquids. They have that characteristic of all of them are liquids. And again, we say that air is a mixture of gases. In air, we have oxygen, we have nitrogen, we have carbon dioxide, and we also have noble gases like argon and neon. They also group together because they are gases. And the second term we defined was mixture. And we're saying that a mixture is a substance made up of two or more substances physically combined together and whose individual particles or individual substances or individual components forming that mixture, they retain their physical and chemical properties. And we give examples like maize and beans. That was a good example. Or it's a good example of a mixture. This, in a mixture, these two substances, two or more substances, have all, they are physically combined together. Therefore, if they are physically combined together, then you can now be able to use the physical methods of separation. And the examples of the physical methods of separation we gave were methods like picking, sieving, there's winnowing, there's evaporation, there's filtration, and there's decantation. They are, those are just examples. There are many other physical methods of separation. And again, we said that for you to be able to separate a given mixture, then the choice of method of separation will depend on the individual components or the characteristics or properties of individual components forming that mixture. And I give the example of you cannot use a magnet to separate maize and beans because none of them is magnetic and therefore you will not succeed in your separation process. That is what we did in the previous lesson. In this lesson, I want us now to discuss the types of mixtures. We have around six types of mixtures. We have a solid, solid mixture. We have a solid liquid mixture. We have a solid gas mixture. We have a liquid, liquid mixture. We have a liquid gas mixture. And we have a mixture of a gas and another gas. Those are the six categories or the six types of mixtures which we have. Then maybe if we note them down, these mixtures, can be grouped into all those we have mentioned. So here we have solid, solid, solid mixture. Then we have solid, liquid. Then we have solid and a gas mixture. Next we have liquid 
liquid liquid liquid mixture then we have a mixture of a liquid and gas and lastly Have a mixture of a gas, mix of gas and another gas. Therefore, those are the six types of mixtures which you have: solid solid mixture, solid liquid mixture, solid gas mixture, liquid liquid mixture, liquid gas mixture, and a mixture of gas and a gas. In solid liquid mixture, again, this one can be divided into two again. So in a solid liquid mixture, it can be categorized as a soluble, soluble solid liquid mixture, or insoluble solid liquid mixture. In a mixture of liquid liquid again this one can be divided further into into miscible and immiscible miscible and immiscible I want us to start with the solid solid mixture and give examples of the solid solid mixtures here a good example you can have of a solid solid mixture we can have maize and beans maize and beans is an example of a solid solid mixture maize is a solid beans is a solid and therefore lies under this category in solid liquid mixture this one can be categorized into soluble and insoluble an example of a soluble a solid liquid mixture then you can have or we have like salt and water when you put salt in water and stir salt is going to dissolve in water forming a salt solution and therefore salt is a solid water is a liquid then you form a soluble solid liquid mixture and in this case it will be a salt solution we go to the next which is an insoluble solid liquid mixture what do you think can be an example of a solid an insoluble solid liquid mixture then you can have can have sand and water when you get some sand you put it in water and you stir it cannot dissolve even if you stir for a whole day it will not dissolve telling you that that one is an example of an insoluble solid liquid mixture other examples we have include we have wheat and wheat and water that one cannot dissolve then we have solid gas mixture an example of a solid gas mixture we have we have smoke what do you think smoke is smoke is just soot particles I'm talking about soot particles which are suspended in air. Soot particles suspended in air. Then that is a mixture of now air and a solid. It's a solid 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 gas mixture. So there is soot particles and air 
which is a mixture of gases. So that is an example of a solid gas mixture. Another example you can have is dust. We just have some fine particles. There are some fine particles in the air, or which are also suspended in the air. Then that is what we call dust. So example of a solid gas mixture, we can have smoke and dust because this are just smoke is soot particles which are suspended in air and dust they are just finely particles or just fine particles of maybe sand which are suspended in air again. We go to the next type of mixture which is a liquid liquid mixture which we have said can be categorized again into two which is a miscible and immiscible liquid. A miscible liquid or a miscible liquid liquid mixture, it is one which mixes or when you mix them together, it mixes to form or combines to form a homogeneous solution that you cannot be able to separate each from each from the other. And an example we have here, we can have milk, milk and water, milk and water, milk is a liquid, water is a liquid. When you mix them together, you just form a solution. Once you form, once you have that mixture, you cannot be able to identify which one is milk and which one is water from that mixture. Another example, you can have ethanol and water. Ethanol and water. Ethanol, when you put some, a little ethanol in water, then it, dis, it mixes with water, leading to formation of a homogeneous solution. Homogeneous solution just means one solution. You cannot be able to identify which is ethanol and which is water. Therefore, those are the examples. Immiscible liquid-liquid mixture. This is a mixture where we have two liquids, and these liquids, they do not mix. When you put them together, you are going to observe two layers. For example, if you take water and cooking oil, water and cooking oil, you put them together in a container, then you are going to have two layers because they cannot mix. So an example is cooking oil and paraffin. So cooking, cooking oil and paraffin, or we can have water and paraffin. Those are immiscible liquid-liquid mixtures. They are going to form two layers, and therefore, they do not mix completely. Again, you have the bottom layer and the upper layer. Of course, now the bottom layer will depend on which liquid is heavier than, than the other. The one which is at the bottom is the heavier liquid or will be the heavier liquid. For example, if you have water and paraffin, that water will form the bottom layer, then paraffin will form the top layer because water is heavier or water has a higher density compared to paraffin. We go to the next category of mixture, which is a liquid, liquid gas mixture. Liquid gas mixture. And in this case, we have the water vapor in air. There's some water vapor in, in the air. So that water vapor is now, uh, is mixes with, with air. Air, which you have seen, is a mixture of gases like oxygen, nitrogen, carbon fogs, and noble gases. When water vapor combines with now the air, and that is now an example of uh, a liquid gas. Water vapor is a liquid, or water vapor is just water in, in gas form. So when they combine, that is, we have water and air as an example of a liquid 
gas mixture. And lastly, we have examples can have oxygen and nitrogen. We see that air is a mixture of gases. And air being a mixture of gases, there are too many gases in air. And I've been mentioning them like oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, neon, argon, krypton, all those are gases. In the air, then it is a mixture of a gas, gas mixture. And therefore, those are the types of mixtures which we have. Therefore, I've said that solid, there are six categories of mixtures. Solid solid mixtures, solid liquid mixtures, solid gas mixtures, liquid liquid mixtures, liquid gas mixtures, gas gas mixtures. Then again, I've said liquid liquid mixtures can be divided further into soluble and insoluble liquid liquid mixtures. And liquid liquid mixtures again can be categorized into two. We have the miscible and immiscible liquids. So those are the two categories of liquid-liquid mixtures. And then we have given the examples that solid-solid mixture we can have maize and beans. Uh, a soluble solid-liquid mixture we have salt and water. And it's not the only example, there are other examples. Then insoluble solid-liquid mixture we have sand and water, fly and water. Those are examples of solid-liquid mixtures. Then in Solid gas, I've said we, have, we can have smoke and dust because smoke is soot particles which are suspended in air, while dust, these are just some finely, some fine particles which are also suspended in air. So the air, the, the air is a mixture of gases, that's why it is a mixture, it's a solid gas mixture. The liquid, liquid mixture, we have miscible and immiscible. In the miscible, we have said that these ones mix together to form a uniform solution. An example, we have milk and water and ethanol mixed with water. Immiscible, we have said that these ones, they do not mix at all at all. There are two liquids which do not mix. And therefore, if you put them together, you are going to have two layers, the bottom and the upper, or the bottom and the top layer. And we have the example of cooking oil and paraffin, and we have water and paraffin. Then in a liquid gas mixture, we have water, water vapor in, in air. Water vapor in air, water is a liquid, then air is a mixture of gases. Therefore, it's a liquid gas mixture, and then a mixture of gas, gas, then you have oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, neon, argon, gases in the atmosphere. And therefore, those are our classifications. That before we end this lesson, I will leave you with this question. And the question is, or well, the assignment for this lesson, state examples. of the following types of mixtures. State, state examples of the following types of mixtures. These mixtures have a solid, solid. Second, you have solid gas. Third, you have liquid. liquid gas, and third, we have gas, gas. So state examples, you can state as many examples as possible of the following types of mixtures, solid, solid, solid gas, liquid gas, and gas, gas mixtures. In our next lesson, we are going to discuss separation of solid, solid mixtures. See you then.